it's Michelle. Uh, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. This one I did a couple days ago. This was a pour over. And so this is what you're risking when you're pouring over something. You have some splitting and then you have a little bit of the, the paint from underneath the canvas showing through. I am going to make an attempt to fix this and I will do it on camera, but not today. <laughs> so anyhow, I had to show you that uh, because stuff happens. So I'm gonna do a ring pour tonight. I haven't done one in a while and um, kind of excited about it. And I might have, I might do a little twist to it. Oh, geez, I can't, oh, there it is. Anyhow, all right, so my colors tonight. We have, hang on a second. Oh, here we go. This is Pebio Iridescent Green Blue. sticks out as we go. This is Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet. This is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. It's Deco Art Americana 24 Karat Gold. This is Golden Permanent Violet Dark. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Checked all my consistencies. And last but not least, I have some Artist Loft Flow White mixed with some Deco Art Satin Enamels to put in between the layers. And this is not a thin, it's not my usual thin, it's a thick. Actually, it was thicker than the rest. I had to thin it out a bit. All right, so we've got a cup here. It's 16 ounces. This is a 22 ounce. 22 ounce, 22, 24 by 24 canvas, artist loft, gallery wrapped, taped, pinned, and sprayed. Somebody asked me, what, what do I spray it with? Water. <laughs> you just spray water on the back. You just kind of put your hand over it, over the back, and it just makes it nice and tight. So the other thing you need to do is make sure it's level. And had it level just a minute ago. All right. So I've got these little push pins I got online and they're, they're push pins. They have the little hook on them and I just kind of pull them in and pull them out depending on whether I need. There we go. Level, level. And then you want to go this way too. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So let me, let's lay our cup. I'm going to put a tiny bit of gold in the bottom, just a tiny bit. Tiny bit of white, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going with the. Uh, metallic cobalt blue and then actually going to do the pebio iridescent right over that put a little bit of white in there then some gold then permanent red violet then Violet dark from golden. And a little bit of gold. A little bit of white. Um, a little bit more white. Sinking. Cobalt. Metallic cobalt blue. I have a squirrel on my roof. A little bit of white, a little bit of gold. Permanent red violet. The 
bit of gold, a little bit of white. It's kind of going in order. Um, that's it for the cobalt. I hope this works out because I'm not gonna have any extra paint. Um, put a little bit of white next to that before I put this. And some gold on the top. That's my cup. That's it. I do have a little bit of purple left, a little bit of um, red violet and white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, oh, I don't have any gold left. I have barely a little bit of gold left. <laughs> That's gonna be what I'm pouring into. But I don't mind pouring into gold and white, so I'll put a little bit of white down too. All right. Um, I am going to pour kind of from up high and wish me luck. And there's something else I might do after, depending on how this looks. liking that. So what I'm going to do, put a little bit of white in this gold cup. Let me take my stick. I don't even know if I'm going to be doing and you know what? What to do, what to do. There was one time I had stopped the pour mid cup and I ended up with a few little drops of white and gold and it, look, it turned out so perfect so I'm just gonna try to nope that's not working all right <laughs> guess what else we're doing tonight <laughs> oh, we have our marble so I had it I wanted to do a marble pour over a straight pour and now that I've really messed up the center I may as well so let me try to just pour that there we go the rest of what's in that cup okay so I am going to put my flow extender around first with that marble I had two marbles and I lost one Somebody gave them to me and it was um, kind of a special thing. So it's gotta be around here somewhere. I think this might be. This one's not in straight, that's my problem. Okay, so let me pour around here. why you want to get your sides too is because if you have a bald spot on the side and um, when you're tilting it can affect the tilting so it's kind of good to get your sides but I like to do them when I'm putting the flow extender around the whole painting um, on these pores definitely that's a pretty pour we're going to wreck it further. I'm not good at wrecked pours. Um, Sarah, Mac, and that girl can wreck a pour like nobody can. <laughs> she just gets the lines absolutely perfect. And of course, Jeremy from the Massey Boys, he's a, he loves his wrecks pours and he's really good at it too. So, I don't know if this is gonna work. I've never tried it. Obviously, the, the marbling thing is not kind of new, it's probably not new, it's just made a revival. And um, 
I like how Lee calls it the pinball pour. So, okay, I am putting that there, grabbing my marble. Now this is a 24 by 24, so it's gonna be a little harder to move along than um, most pours. I'm gonna put it right in the center. No gloves, gloves off. Oh, that's not moving too well. Maybe I need a golf ball. I think I have a golf ball. It's too, yeah, it's not moving. Let me take that out. I'll be back after these commercial messages. All right. I have not played golf in a long time, but my, my balls are very dirty. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. Um, all right. Wow, this has moved a little bit. I did wash it off. It's just stained. All right, let's move this around. It's not moving. Ooh, this is pretty. I saw Mina today. She did a golf ball roll. And then um, I think she, it was on for Earth Day. I think she ended up, whoa, Wilbur. So, you know, she can control it a lot better than I can. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I am going to um, tilt this out and then I might roll it around again. When she rolled hers the second time, oh my God, it turned out so beautiful. This might not be too bad. I really like the colors. Man, I was like struggling to find a golf ball because they're all behind my uniforms. And I'm gonna be starting work soon. So I didn't wanna get paint on my uniforms. I hope they still fit. Let me just move this around this way. Don't know if I want it to go off the corner yet. This is really cool, guys. I'm liking it. Ice, you're gonna get paint all over you, honey. My poor baby, Ice, he doesn't know where his sister is. Yeah. I think, uh, I think she, I, took him, I took her away. <laughs> uh, fortunately, God took her away. Now, I really like that Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? Well, it's a good thing that's going to be going off, I guess. <laughs> I am, I like this part, so I am going to anchor it. I got to make sure I'm taking a peek at everything else that's going on in this painting. Man, guys, I like this. So it's a straight pour. with the uh, golf ball roll. Oh man, did I get that spot off? I did. All right. Oh, I'm losing my pen. That's the one that was in Crooked. All right, I want, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I want to go slower is what I want. Slow, Michelle. I love how the colors are mixing. Okay, I'm gonna move this around this way so I have a better control over it. So big boy. side, bring it over, oh, this is pretty, this is different, okay. thank God, because that center was really messed up, <laughs> all right guys, I'm going to pull this right over, sorry you can't see it all.
and I might take this off the bottom. There's still a lot of paint on here. So we aren't gonna have a center per se, like we would normally have on a ring pour or a straight pour, but I like it. Let me, I love that corner over there. Um, wow, let me give it a, a look at it for a minute. See what I want to keep, what I wanna lose. I don't wanna lose anything. Very interesting. I'm gonna try to open this up a bit. Paints are kind of moving slowly, which is kind of good because that means there's not too much to come off. It'll dry well. I might take some of this off. It's looking a little busy. Oh, and I just hit the... <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm starting to like it better. A little bit more off. And then... Oh, God. This is really pretty. Um, then I'm going to move it back this way. I love the blending of the colors. I love the cells. Um, I love the design. This is starting to get some wigglies, squigglies. I don't like that. This is different, very different. And I think the white in it gave it just enough contrast. Um, there's, <laughs> there's a line right here. Let me wet my hands before I do anything. Right here where the ball came through and it, it looks so cool. And here too. Um, yeah, I might mess with it a little bit more, but I'm um, really kind of loving it. Oh, and I'm getting drips. Oh, here we go. All right, I don't think I'm gonna mess with it much more. Sometimes when um, I mess with it, I mess it up. Um, I'm just going to give it a few minutes. I'm going to torch it, um, see what else develops, because it probably will develop with the satin enamels in it. And wow. And by the way, guys, I'm painting during the day. I know this is it's an odd thing for me. <laughs> I've never painted during the day. But I guess i got to kind of get my system on a different... Uh, a different schedule since I'm going to be going back to work May 4th. I work for an airline. Okay. Yeah, some cells are starting to come up now. I really, really this is like, wow. So colorful. This might end up in my living room. Speed Racer is out again. <laughs> this is so cool, guys. I'm really loving it. When you're dealing with thick paint and you're dealing with a large canvas, I recommend a golf ball. <laughs> 
because it just didn't work with the marble. The marble, it was just, yeah. No, it wasn't working at all. It was just too small. Sometimes size does matter, as we would say. All right. Um, I'm incredibly happy. Do I want to change anything? There's one thing that's kind of bugging me. And I should have left it. Yeah. That's okay. It didn't really do much anything. But if you roll the ball around on this right now, it would create some really cool effects, but I really am just loving this too much to be able to do that. Um, yeah, yeah, no. So over here, the gold mixed with the um, Hebio green blue, and it created this really cool green color, like a different type of green. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it. Well, what the heck, I'll put you on time lapse. Uh, I don't know guys I'm like really really sad because it turned out really nice but the um, see that line right there oh are you kidding me look at that <laughs> I'll fish them out in a minute yeah that whole line there that's the canvas that broke away from the back so it's no longer attached to the canvas, but this was a really nice one. Oh, and look at that. Nice. Well, guys, I, I gotta get, <laughs> I gotta go fishing for bugs right now. I'll be back. Um, please stay safe and create, and please like, share, and subscribe.